Shadowly Bridge Brewers of Fuzzy Dunlop Skates and today I'm going to talk about making YouTube videos and why I think it's important that if you guys don't already that you start making your own YouTube videos. The main reason I say it's important and the main reason I recommend to make videos is that no matter what kind of video you make, no matter what kind of content you produce, whether it's MGTOW or fitness or fucking self-improvement or driving or fucking cooking or advice or philosophy or entertainment or criticism or anything, 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 no matter what kind of content you produce, the absolute minimum that's going to happen as a result of that is that you will get better at that type of content. And I, and I don't just mean producing that type of content. Like, for instance, I make skateboard videos. That's how I started my channel. And in making skateboard videos, like, I've gotten way better at skateboarding. And I've gotten better at producing skateboarding content. Like, it sounds really basic, and it kind of is, but it's true. Now, the reason it makes you better, okay? First of all, usually if you go out and do something, you go out and do it for yourself. This is fine. You know, this is all well and good. I still do it for myself. But when I bring the camera, I set the goal of coming back with footage. And it has to be good footage. You can't... It, and if it's too gnarly, if it's too hard... And I won't come back with anything. I won't fucking get anything. And, you know, I don't want to make a video of me just trying some stupid shit for three hours and not getting it. You know, maybe, maybe I'll do that. But, like, that's not really fun for me. I like trying hard, you know, sometimes. And I like not giving up. But I, I like to play within my ability, too. Like, I talk about it in several of my videos and slightly without. So, you know, it's going to increase. In bringing the camera with me every time I go skateboard, for example, it encourages me to go slightly above and beyond. You know, just doing the same tricks I usually do because I want to come back with video footage of something new. And, like, I don't know why. And I want it on film. I want to see it. And the other thing, too, is even if you get something perfectly, if you look at it on film, if you did anything wrong, if your hand moved weird or if you look kind of gay or anything like that, or if your knees were at a weird angle, like, you're going to see it all on film. And you're going to see every mistake. And it sucks, okay? It sucks because you think it was perfect. And it took you like a million tries to get it. And then when you watch it, you find out it looks like shit. Or maybe it wasn't filmed properly. Or whatever, you know. And it sucks, okay. But the solution is to go back and redo it. And redo it better. So that's another thing too, you know. If you do something just for you, you might be a perfectionist. If you are, power to you. You know, but at the same time, like, you don't know really what it looks like until you see what it looks like. Everybody in their head, they think they're fucking killing it all the time. You know, they like myself included. However, seeing actual video proof of you in fact killing it is the fucking best thing ever. Fuck. And look, it's it's we're all capable of fucking self-reflection and self-evaluation and self-fucking correction and self-improvement to at least some degree. But I'm telling you guys, this is a great way. This is like I think it's the best way to actually see how other people see you, you know, or the closest, the closest you're ever going to get. You know, and you can film it yourself, you know, you can film it even with the the selfie camera or whatever, so you can look in, at yourself and see how you look while you're talking. You can do everything. You can go over it and, like, redo it and redo it and redo it and redo it until you're happy with the way it comes out. But that's the thing, you know, you play within your ability, but coming back with a video encourages you to play slightly beyond. You know, a lot of my talking videos are in my room, but I put my little fucking pointing the wrong way. I put my little overlay, put my little Pepe that I drew and I edit them a certain way and you know, I make them in a certain formula and you know, I make sure my room is like relatively you know, presentable when I make my videos in there. Like that that's helped me. How does that not help me? And it's not that I do it just to gain people's approval. If you approve, fine. If you don't, fine. I really don't give a fuck. I'm just saying, if you're gonna film something in your room, like chances are you're not going to want to film it if your room's a fucking disgusting fucking pigsty. So it's going to encourage you at the very least to fucking clean your room, right? Like this is not hard to follow. So filming myself, skateboarding, or other people, it's always cool to film someone else. But like a lot of the time, other people just aren't down. A lot of people fucking 10, 15 years younger than me, like they've already given up and it's hard to fucking find people with common interests, but whatever, no big deal. I'm happy at the skate park by myself or with my roommate or fucking whoever with my dog. 
And if there's no one there to film me, I'll set up a tripod and I'll film some shit, man. And I'll tell myself, okay, I'm going to learn this today. and I'm going to film every fucking try and I'm going to come back with a fucking decent video that I'm going to put together. And even if I don't get it, you know, I'm going to edit the failures together and I'm going to talk about it maybe, but hopefully I'll get it. And look, it'll work out. Okay. And like, you might have a couple of failure videos, but those are cool too. It fucking, it's, it's good to bear your soul to fucking people. You know, instead of just pretending to be uh, fucking infallible all the time. And the other thing I'm going to recommend too, that a lot of people are going to disagree with me on, but whatever, it's just the way it is. I recommend showing your face. I recommend, you know, opening up a part of your life. If you really want to fucking improve and if you really want to share something. Uh, look, there's a lot of channels I like to watch. The, the guys like never show their face and they just put pictures and stuff. But I believe the pictures are relevant to what they talk about. And I would still really prefer it. Like, I would always prefer seeing a person. But I understand you have your own reasons, you know. And a lot of the time, it's that, you know, people have a lot to risk. So they don't want to give up, uh, you know, they don't want to fucking dox themselves. But that's another thing, too. You know, if you're willing to show your face, and if you're willing to talk about shit or to do shit like that you actually do and believe, regardless of what people think, then it makes you think twice about what kind of content you're going to put out there. And, you know, I think it means that you have more balls. So <laughs> that's it. So, yeah, you can choose not to. And you could argue the other point that, you know, if you don't show your face and if you don't say anything about yourself, then you can really say whatever the fuck you want. And that's true, too. But, you know, I, I show my face and I say whatever the fuck I want. And I do whatever the fuck I want. And in filming myself doing this, I've gotten way better at saying and doing whatever the fuck I want. So please start making your own videos if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, if I haven't subscribed to you, chances are it's probably because you don't have any content. And, uh, you know, produce some content and I'll definitely check it out. So leave a thought in the comments downstairs and start making some videos, guys. Enjoy your day. I'm Fuzzy the Mom Skates and you're watching Bridge Burners TV. Chatelet.